Hi guys, this is Aishwarya, Assistant Professor from Department of English, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science for Women, Hazur. Okay, today's topic is Humanitarian Movement. Let's go to the topic. The Humanitarian Movement. The Agrarian Revolution and the Industrial Revolution brought many evils in their wake. Philanthropist and altruist initiated movement aptly called Humanitarian Movement to eradicate these evils. Let us examine some prominent movements and the good that they did. The first topic is prison reform. General Aglethop was a humanitarian of note. He drew the attention of parliament to horrible condition of prisoners in Fleet Street and Marshall Sea. The jailers in these prisons tortured prisoners to extort main money from them. English law was very harsh. It regarded even more lapses such as stealing goods worth only 5 shillings as major crimes and sent the offenders to prison. John Howard and Elizabeth Fry moved the government to take steps for the prevention of crimes. In his book State of the Prisoners, Howard exposed the pathetic condition of the prisoners including their mental derangement. Elizabeth Fry was a Quaker. She highlighted the misery of women prisoners. In 1829, Robert Peel introduced extensive police machinery to maintain law and order. As a result, the incidence of crime was considerably reduced. Oglethorpe took another step to help the prisoners. He sent them to newly founded colony of Georgia where they could live in comparative ease and peace. In this connection, the Galsworthy's play Justice could be mentioned which drew attention to difficulties in rehabilitation. Prisoners The Anti-Slavery Reform The Anti-Slavery Reform was an equally strong humanitarian movement. Buying and selling slaves was flourishing trade during the end of the Tudor era and the early decades of the Stuart regime. In 1771, about 50,000 Negroes were bought by English sailors in Africa and sold to planters in the West Indian and American colonies to work on their estates. In return, the English sailors brought raw cotton, tobacco and sugar from the colonies to England. This trade went on unchecked for several years. The sufferings of the slaves was exposed first by Dr. Johnson and Horace Walpole. However, it was William Wilberforce who fought vigorously for the abolition of slavery. The activist of the anti-slavery movements conducted public meetings and distributed pamphlets to create public awareness. As a result of the tireless efforts of these men, slave trade was abolished in 1807. But the fighters' ultimate goal was to set free the slaves all over the British Empire. This goal was realized in 1833. Though Wilberforce died in this year, his dream became true. And the next, the plight of papers, that is, the poor laws. It was Queen Elizabeth who first thought of need for aiding the poor and unemployed. The poor law passed by her taxed and wealthy to set up a relief center for feeding all clothing and housing the poor and unemployed. All later poor laws were modified, modification of the Elizabethan law. And the next act is the Spinham Land Act. The Spinham Land Act passed in 1795 saw to it that those who were unemployed but paid very low wages were also given relief from the relief fund. This act had harmful side effects. The employer deliberately paid very low wages because the laborers who were paid low were taken care of in relief centers. A commission of inquiry was set up in 1833 to study how to remedy the defects of the poor laws. On the basis of the recommendation of commission, the Poor Laws Amendment Act was passed in 1835. According to this act, the person receiving relief should not be better off than the person outside the relief center. The relief centers in each district were supervised by boards of guardians. But these boards also become corrupt in course of time. 
the another commission was set up in 1905 it did a lot of useful work it found out that primary causes of poverty were drunkenness disease thriftlessness ill suited marriages and casual labor the commission stressed the need for checking the causes of poverty as the only meaningful solution to the problem of pauperism pauperism means poverty on the basis of commission's advice separate workhouse were set up for children and for very old people because their problem were different and they needed to be handled differently to reduce unemployment the commission recommended forming the labor exchange and state insurance scheme and the next is the drive against drunkenness the people were aware that drunkenness was the root cause of poverty so the humanitarian like hohat and george krunshank addressed this problem in all seriousness they started a movement called total abstinence or teetotalism they drew picture of drunkards which touched the heart of viewers an enthusiastic band of volunteers called the blue ribbon army succeeded in reforming many drunkards because the volunteers wore blue ribbons they were called blue ribbon army the salvation army salvaging riches william booth founded the salvation army in 1865 booth was originally a methodist he adopted novel methods methods such as noisy street bands and colorful uniforms to draw the attention of the public to suffering of beggars harlots and other destitute booth stressed the point that christian missionaries should undertake social service the final act of the humanitarian movement is the healthcare the towns that mushroomed during the industrial revolution were lacking in sanitation they bred many infectious diseases smallpox spread fast and assumed frightening proportions in the 18th century the inoculation introduced by lady mary wortley montagu from turkey and the va- vaccination discovered by jenner arrested the spread of smallpox many hospitals were established in different parts of england patients could remain there till they were cured another remarkable development of the period was setting up the founding hospital abandoned abandoned children were taken care of this was brain wave of captain coram thus many humanitarian movements arose in england to help the poor and the downtrodden and i have given assessment here so please answer it and thanks for watching bye